Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Omar Hamid and in this video I will show you how you can define names for cells in Excel. In this way, a certain cell can have a name for it instead of being referred to columns letters and rows numbers. So let's go into Excel to see that. Here I am in Excel and I want to calculate the total cost. So the total cost equals to the quantity times the cost per item. And if I want to write the formula for it, it will be equals B5 times C5. And I will apply this to all. But here, what is B5, what is C5? They are just numbers and letters, but they don't resemble anything. And they don't make any sense except if I'm seeing the sheet in front of me. So for example, if I want to talk to my colleague and I want to tell him what's the total cost, he will not tell me it's B5 times C5. He will tell me it's the quant times the cost per item. So in order to define the names for cells, we can select this column. We can go to formulas and define name. It will automatically detect that this column is quantity and it refers to this column as we said from B5 to B9 and if we press OK now it's named quantity then let's name this one cost per item so define name cost per item and now when we want to calculate instead of calculating B5 times C5 we will calculate equals quantity for that quantity we will see that now we have this name defined times cost per item and also here the name is defined press enter you can see it automatically calculates the total cost for all the cells in the column by defining names for these cells you can refer to them in an easier and more work related way by naming these cells with something that's related to the content that will go inside it like this video share it with your friends and hit the subscribe button to see all my previous and upcoming videos <laughs>